thing about you is you're capable of doing it all. It's genius to see you take this really dark image and not make it so dark by taking these flat, colorful images next to all this detail. And it just plays with your mind and your eyes and you're like, how the do you even come up with this shit? It comes from the soul. Today, you must tattoo color portraits. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. We are testing precision with Nico style, color realism. Here we go. Every little facial detail must be precisely and perfectly rendered with solid saturation and smooth color blends or your canvas will be left with an unrecognizable mess. Oh, no, you're sweating. I'm so I don't do color portraits. I don't do realism. I don't do color realism. I don't have a background in it. I don't take these kind of tattoos on at home. Like, it's just not my style. With precision and portraits, it's about simplicity and just making a clean portrait that's readable. Think about the structure of the face, think about the light source, and be precise in the details where you want to put them. With a color portrait, there's what you did and there's the portrait and they're always gonna be side by side. And what if you don't hit resemblance? It's disrespectful to that person who just got that tattoo and trusted you to capture their loved one's memory forever on their skin. I've done zero. I'm super pumped on this one. So I'm just kind of getting stuff blocked in right now. <laughs> and then portraits hit a point when you can breathe, you're like, all right, yeah. that's grandma's face, and then yeah. you can just make it cool as shit. I picked this vintage photo of this awesome grandma with orange hair and these big silly glasses. This picture just has a vibe. It's something unique, and that's what I love. What got you into tattooing? I've been doing art since I can remember. I applied at a shop when I was like 17 years old. I wasn't even legally old enough to get a tattoo, and the rest is history. The moment I found tattooing, it changed my whole life. I love creating art for people and really changing other people's lives. Been a wild ride. Three, two, one. That's it, time's up, no more ink. Oh my God, okay. It's perfect, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah okay. thank you yeah, so yeah, yeah. much. <laughs> Today, you had to tattoo color portraits. Let's see how you did. DJ. What's going on, guys? DJ, this tattoo, it is another level. You perfectly rendered glasses, a ribbed turtleneck, a scarf. You captured the essence of this woman. I really, really love the hair. You could still see the eyes through the glasses underneath this filter, and somehow, you captured it. The scarf is a really nice frame for that face. To me, this tattoo is badass. You killed it. Thank you, guys. Judges, it's time to determine the best tattoo of the day. There was one tattoo that absolutely exceeded every expectation I had. DJ's precision on point. He went so far above and beyond and showed us transparency. He showed us shine in the glasses. He rendered a plaid scarf. This tattoo tells such a great story. My vote's for DJ, best tattoo of the day. My vote is for DJ. DJ, you crushed it. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to DJ. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, DJ. You are safe from elimination warms my heart. Today, you must create a single session, 12 hour tattoo on the leg. What the oh my hours. God, I'm sitting. <laughs> oh my 12 God. hours? Bring it on, let's do it. Generally, I am a large scale artist, which means I do very long sessions on a daily basis, which means I might have an advantage going into this round. The more time you give me, the more I can show off. Your leg tattoos must speak for themselves because we will be judging them completely blind. What? Oh, that's cool. Nobody's gonna know. The judges will critique and rank each tattoo without knowing which artist created which. I love blind judging because it's, it's no bullshit. None of us can talk our way out of anything. Well, I can't sell this one. Wanna roll back onto your back? Almost done with the line. Cool. 
What I'm tattooing here is a futakuchi ona, which is a Japanese yokai. It is a woman with two mouths. It's a part of Japanese lore and legends. That thing's insane. <laughs> this thing? <laughs> I think of myself as a tattooer that is putting myself in the shoes of a tattooer from that time and thinking about the art that they were looking at and not somebody that is tattooing in a Japanese style. And that's a huge risk to take. It's like, damn, it's going back faster than I thought it was. It's a good thing. I knew it was gonna go back quick, but it's going back really quick. 12 hours on the leg. The artist picked skulls to determine which style they had to tattoo, but the subject matter was up to them. The top ranked tattoo earns an automatic spot in the top four. That's a huge advantage. Huge advantage. We're critiquing blind. We don't know whose tattoo is whose. And we're ranking them individually, and we won't know each other's scores. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. All right, here we go. That's me. It looks like a Japanese woodblock print. It's got such great composition, the way it's drawn, and how it starts small on the bottom. And let's not forget the front of the thigh where the mirror is to reflect the geisha girl that's actually talking at the back of your neck. It's sick, right? Every part of this tells a story. Dude, I love the saturation of the ink, like how solid that and task Done. Huge. Dude, it's huge. Really original, really fresh. Pick the right colors, lay it out on the body well. Great design. I'm dying to know who did this tattoo. <laughs> it is so Good. weird wow. in the best way. This is one of the most refreshing designs I've seen, not only in this competition, but in the industry. Whoa. Yeah, bro. It was a good critique, Bob. Uh, yeah, that was a lot good of work. Critique. It was a lot of tattooing. It looks like it, man, but it paid off. Yeah based only on your work. Each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. It's time to find out who is the first artist to secure their spot in the top four. Please reveal the highest ranked tattoo. Who tattooed this? That was me. Knew it, I knew, I knew it. it. Bob, congratulations. Thank you. This is a close to a 10 as you can get. You destroyed this tattoo. Thank you. Based on the judges' rankings, the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. <sighs> Thank you. Creepy Jason, your fight to the finish is far from over. Here we go. You've shown us what you can do in 12 hours. Now it's time to show us what you can do in one. Oh, not. Oh my god. Did they just say one? hour what like 100 hours or is there anything any numbers after the one because one by itself sounds ridiculous at this point in the competition to be an ink master you must be able to prove your skills on the biggest tattoos and the smallest <sighs> dude there's no joke right now to earn your spot in the top four and avoid elimination you must survive a tattoo marathon with four 60 minute tattoos oh my god I learned how to tattoo in a street shop. So knowing how to like bang out tattoos quickly and efficiently is the name of the game. You have 60 minutes to tattoo Angel's design. And your time starts now. You going all color on all these? Uh, yeah, man. I was hoping Angel was going to be the one to like throw a black and gray tattoo in here, but it's a color tattoo all day, dude. That's dope. Artist, time for the second design, Gion's design. You have 60 minutes and your time starts now. That's cool, man. I may start doing more traditional tattoos with like that color palette. That looks cool as shit. Two tattoos down, two more to go. A spot in the top four is on the line. Whew. It is time to tattoo Creepy Jason's design. Of the four of us doing my new school lab rat, I'm the only new school tattooer here. New school tattoos can have backgrounds in them, and I do this shit very quickly, so I have the luxury of putting one in there. I'm gonna kill this one, and everybody's gonna know it. It is time for the last tattoo, DJ's design. Last one. You have 60 minutes, and your time starts now. This is it, man. We're down to the wire. We had a tattoo marathon. The artists each got to design a 60-minute tattoo. They had to tattoo their design, and then they had to tattoo each other's design. Also, the wall, dude. 
We're gonna be ranking these tattoos completely blind. The tattoos with the highest scores win. Let's get into the first design. All right, here we go. We have the eyeball flower. Oh, that's mine. Would've been fun to tattoo that. And let's start with number one. Oh, that's mine. That thing looks even better now than it did when I did it. I like the color choices. The little drop of yellow in that sparkle. I love on that bottom squiggle how they went in and actually made all of those bumps look sort of bulbous with that darker red. I'm pretty impressed by it. Let's take a look at all four of them together. Number one this is my favorite interpretation. Of yeah, it. I think it's a great tattoo, number one. They're all so cool. They are cool. I'm so stressed right now, guys. All right, let's take a look at the next design. Hey, that's mine, man. The blue panther, which I really love. They did the gold grill. Not only is this thing fully saturated, they took time to blend that bright blue into that super soft aqua. This, to me, looks like it could have taken somebody three hours to tattoo. Any guesses on who did what? Man, I can't tell you, yeah, This, this whole thing idea. threw me in the loop. Let's see the next design. The rat fink. Rats. It has so much personality. Well, let's get into number one. Look at all of the precision put into the little cut on the forehead. The way they actually made it look embossed. Mm -hmm. Every single piece of this thing is tricked out. That's my favorite tattoo I've done this whole competition. This is so hard for me to even guess these. Judges, we're about to look at the last design. Remember, there are four artists here. There are only three spots left in the top four. So these rankings are everything. We don't know who tattooed what, but we do know that one person is going home after this. Let's take a look at the last design. This is a very common mask. It's simple, but everything's got to be super tight. Did you notice the cutout on the left-hand side and the cutout on the bottom right? Mm -hmm. They left the strings up for the interpretation of whatever mm -hmm. artist was doing yeah. it. Well, let's start with number one. That's it. That's my Tengu. The ropes are cool. They're flowy. They have movement. They have some personality to them. I don't like how it's shaded. It just does not seem clean. All right, judges, let's lock in our final rankings. I can't wait to not look at these tattoos anymore. <laughs> these rankings are going to be tallied. The person who ends up on the bottom is going home. Artists, head up to the shop. All of the tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Based on the rankings, it's time to reveal the winner of the tattoo marathon. Those are mine. Unreal, dude. Yeah, crushed it. You <laughs> crushed it. Thank you. Jason, when you're pushed up against a wall, man, you really perform. I just handle little bangers easy. This shit's a like a day at work for me. You went from being in the bottom two on the 12 hour to being first on the one hour. Yeah. Congratulations, Creepy Jason. You've earned your spot in the top four. Thank you. Each of you will be assigned a master canvas. Okay. You will have a total of 24 hours to tattoo a back piece. Woo! Yes. In two back-to-back 12-hour -back sessions. Damn. 12 hours of tattooing on day one and 12 hours of tattooing on day two. That, that's a big deal, though. This is the most back-to-back -back tattooing oh. ever tackled in this competition. Your master canvases are completely open. Excellent. You can tattoo anything you want. Yes. And any style you want. Yeah. Oh, anything? Oh, That's pretty oh, yeah. wild. We want to see legendary tattoos. You are competing for the biggest grand prize in Ink Master history. Now is the time to pull out all the stops and blow us away. Good luck. Into the end. Oh, you excited? I'm pumped, man. I can't wait for this. I haven't got a chance to show myself in this competition, so I want to think as far outside the box as possible. I came up with something cool and oh, new yeah. and innovative. And for my design, I'm pouring my head onto this paper, literally. Bro, that's so dope, man. We'll keep this dude almost realistic. Yeah. Just black and gray, almost like when a movie meets color. And then these cartoon hands are like lifting the top of his head off. And then inside his head is just this like wonderland, you know? It's gonna be different than I like it. anybody I like it. has anywhere. I'm super pumped, so. This is the worst part of the back. 
Just so you know. Just taking in the whole process, bro. That's it. Having won twice is absurd. And now to try to do it for a third time, I have a huge title to defend. Three, two, one. We done. That completes your first 12 hour session for your 24 hour back piece. That's long. This is your second 12 hour session for your 24 hour back piece. And your time starts now. All right, let's get it, dude. Bet you missed that sound, didn't ya? Leave it all here, buddy. Yeah. I'm stoked to show the world what it is that you want to show them. I want to show them that win this against a bunch of amazing artists. If I can pull this off, it's going to be completely different against every tattoo that has been done in 14 seasons of this competition. There's no way I'm not taking this home. Each of you were assigned a master canvas and had to create a 24-hour back piece. You were able to tattoo anything you wanted in any style in two grueling back-to-back 12-hour -back sessions. Toughest day of my life. That was rough. <sighs> DJ, tell us about your back piece. I had almost an epiphany. Something inside me that forced me to just go and do me. I've been through more trauma in my life than a lot of people. And I feel like I'm constantly having to like put on this happy face when I really just want to scream. With this piece, I just wanted to see what I could create out of my mind and just go for it. I can feel all that in your work. I was like, is that just DJ as he sees himself somewhere down the road where he's just completely gone mad with these crazy ideas in his head that he's got to get out? It definitely says that to me in like a really beautiful way. The thing about you is you're capable of doing it all. It's genius to see you take this really dark image and not make it so dark by taking these flat, colorful images next to all this detail. And it just plays with your mind and your eyes and you're like, how the do you even come up with this shit? It comes from the soul. I love the colors. I love that pink character. I love the green character. But I really wish you would have finished up just that one side of the tattoo. When I drew it, I had this idea for a weird, different movement. Does it have to be this square back? And that's the chance I was taking. I am so thankful when given the opportunity to do something that you wanted to do, you did it. It is now time to determine the winner. It's kind of hard because you have two amazing pieces of art. One's really creative and thought outside the box, and then one straightforward tattoo. God, this is a hard one. This is the worst, actually. I would rather be eliminated. Let's look at DJs. It's beautiful, I mean, dude. The most creative. But it's not only the most creative, it shows every skill set we've tested them on this entire season. Saturation, line work, black and gray realism, illustration. But you have to admit, there's something about it that doesn't look finished. I'm just missing 15% of your tattoo as a back piece. I can, I can fit a symmetrical, simple, centered back piece. This is not about symmetry. When I look at it, my eyes go directly to the rainbow. That's the plan. But dude, it doesn't draw my eye around. I don't drop to the heaviness of the face. I've worked my ass off. I tried to create something that had multiple styles for you guys. And I think just being vulnerable and trying to do something different and creative in this competition is needed. It's fresh, it's new. When two tattoos are fundamentally equal, it comes down to what this competition is truly about, being the most versatile, my vote is for DJ. Nico, I have to go with what's complete. But my vote is for Gion. Ami. A back piece to me is always going to take advantage of every single inch of that back. My vote goes to Gion. We have two votes for Gion, one vote for DJ. That leaves me. I agree with you guys. Gian's is this big, complete, beautiful back piece with a couple of mistakes. But DJ's, even with the left side not complete, I still like that tattoo. I'm at a loss. Goddamn. 
Just do what's in your heart, bro. My vote is for DJ. When I look at these tattoos, I can't stop looking at DJs. And I feel like if I had voted against that, I would regret it. We have two votes for DJ, two votes for Gian. We have a tie. Well, this is a first. Yeah, this is a first. The judges are at a deadlock. In the event of a tie, the judges determine how to break it. Eliminated artist, the four of you are gonna cast a vote to break the tie. Damn. We're gonna go in the order you were eliminated. Anthony, <sighs> what's your vote? My vote is for DJ. Angel. My vote is for Gion. Oh. That's one vote for Gion and one vote for DJ. It's tied up, dude. Creepy Jason. It's too late to vote for me, right? It's not gonna happen, okay. Gion, your tat's dope, dude, but when you're gonna rely on symmetry and you miss part of your tattoo, that's a huge mistake to me. Like, I can't forget that. Gotta vote for DJ. That's two votes for DJ, one vote for Gian. It's all on me now. Bob, what's your vote? An ink master should be somebody that can do all the styles and be able to change what they normally would always want to do and flip it on the dime. That's what I came out here to do. DJ is a powerhouse of all these different styles. I can see that in his tattoo the most. So I'm sorry, Gion. My vote is gonna have to be for DJ. That's three votes for DJ, one vote for Gion. DJ, you do have what it takes oh to be Ink Master. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Number three. Oh. Congrats, bro. I appreciate you. This is one more chapter in my life, one more struggle that I made it through. This is real. And this is just another achievement that I nailed to the floor. I'm holding on to this title forever. I know. I know, bro. Listen, I, I, know, it is, I know how it is. I know how it is. Nothing personal. And this proves that you need to know everything to be an Ink Master. <laughs> to the Ink Master and to an incredible season, an incredible competition for you all. DJ, congratulations. Thanks, Joel. Everybody, cheers. Salud, everybody. Salud. 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 Salud.